this song came on and I just had a thought. Um, love. A lot of people say they ain't never felt that before and some people haven't. And I hope that someday they experience love that's legit. Because I can say that I have. And it's been plenty of times where I fumbled what real love was and still is. Um, and I'm talking to the ladies. And, and men, I'm sure you can, you can um, utilize this message. But when I say I'm talking to the ladies... Uh, Ladies, when we are dealing with men and we decide to date and we are starting our dating process, yes, we will we will bump our heads in every which way because a lot of the times we end up picking the man that want us but don't know why he want us. And nine times out of the ten, they want us because they want to use that part of us that is insecure and not all the way well and not all the way healed. And, bit, and, and remember, I'm talking about the, the starting of us women, us little girls to teenagers to young adults to, to grown ass women when we dating. Um, a lot of times we pick the wrong niggas. And we pick a certain man based off what his exterior look like and what we think a man is when really women a lot of us don't know because a lot of our daddies our father figures that we held on to so fucking dearly was half ass so a lot of the times when these half ass men come through they be exactly that half ass and we accept them because we want to make them whole and it don't work like that so then when we, when we find men, or let me take that back, when men that are, <sighs> excuse me, a lot safer, when men find us that are a lot safer, and I'm not talking about all women because not all women are the same. I know what for me, I might not necessarily say I was looking for a bad boy or looking for a specific type of man. But when I look back on the dudes that I would uh, find attractive, because I really wouldn't go out my way to talk to dudes for real. Because I'm like, eh, you ain't really that important for me to, to go out and try to talk to. But there's some men that I have. I have done that. But that's as an adult. And so when I look back, it's like eh, a lot of these men that you were attracted to were half assed because they were only one sided and they wanted something from you and they got it. But what you got from them was nothing that you really didn't want, you know. And that happens to a lot of us women and it can be put in any type of way that you felt that can be one-sided when dealing with a man especially a man that you probably like a little more than they probably like you or you like them for more than one reason and they may only like you for one reason you know um and i don't think i need to be too descriptive in what we're talking about because hopefully you can read between the lines so, I think I say all that to say this. Ladies, when we are out here dating men and finding men and men are coming to us and what we are attracted and who, who we find attractive, we need to not look about what their exterior is. Because a lot of the time, the exterior might be what appeals. Yeah, they might have a bunch of money, have a nice car, got a good job, got a this, got a that, got a, got a, got them. But at the end of the day, it's going to be the woman that's going to be like, nigga, uh... I gotta be loved on, you know? I gotta be respected. And the dude's like, mm -hmm. you gotta take your ass on somewhere, you know? So, and when I say I fumbled 
the bag or whatever you want to call it fumbled it with a good person i have multiple times but then when i see the same person that i fumble with so many times still be there still be somebody that i can have a connection with and talk to like this the only motherfucker i know that will call the cops to have them do a wellness check on me because they ain't heard from me in a while and they just want to make sure I'm okay. So they send the cops to my door just to make sure I'm alive and I'm cool. And at that time, I was like, yo, why the fuck he sending the cops to my door? Da, 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 and not realizing, no, bitch, he loves you. He want to make sure you were breathing and you alive, whether you with him or not. He loves you. Like, and he ain't asking nothing from you. That's love. That's the love a lot of our motherfucking daddies, real fucking daddies, wouldn't give us. Wouldn't call to check up. So I say all of that, again, to say love is about the action. Something that you ain't got a question. And when you look back at that moment, you like, yo, I was a fool because how can I not see that he was doing that out of love and respect for me. It's because a lot of times you get around these half-assed men and they'll tell you all type of stuff just to keep you still, just to keep you stupid. And I'm not saying that women are stupid for, for liking men and being this, that, and the third for men. But at the end of the day, a lot of these men are trifling. A lot of them are trifling. And and it hurts my feelings because when I sit and I think about what I allow men to what I allow men to do to me or how I allow a man to talk to me, how I allow a man to treat me, you know, how I would allow a man to act a certain type of way to me. I feel like damn near every woman then went through some type of self-esteem issue where we looked for validation. I don't know what that validation would look like for you, but I know what it looked like for me. And I never thought, well, in middle school, I did. I, it was a growing up process where I felt I was ugly, but then it was a, a, a glow up where I grew into my own, which a lot of women and girls do. Um, and then I started to feel like, well, now I need to, I need to not appreciate the male gaze, but give the male something to gaze upon. I want to look cute, but I'm not necessarily trying to look cute for myself. I want to look cute <clears throat> so so boys can, can be attracted to me. But then what I start to realize is, yeah, boys is going to be attracted to you, but you don't want every boy's attention. A lot of these boys will get you in trouble. A lot of these men will get you in trouble. And that's simply because they don't care for your well-being. And I also figured out that a lot of these men with children that already been there, done that with relationships. And the woman might, <clears throat> the woman might want more than what she's given. That relationship, that woman is probably only going to be some type of side chick or some type of just play thing i realize if the man don't necessarily want to have kids with you or want to have kids at all there may not be a uh, how do i say there may not be a true connection that's going to be able to exist on longevity it may not be there and if it's there it may last for a bit <clears throat> but i promise you the female the woman in that relationship is going to be like yeah i'm over it because i'm not i'm not fulfilled 
and in the relationships i will find myself because honestly i like being single and that's and that's the real shit i like being single but at the end of the day you will reach an age a lot of women a lot of times because i don't want to speak for everybody you may reach an age where you like yo being single is cool because i do enjoy it and i do love it but i low-key want to be just lonely with one other person i want to be lonely i want to be lonely with with one other person with my family i want to be ducked off somewhere you know not by myself anymore but by ourselves you feel me and so looking back and thinking about the relationships that i did have and they were really based on single person relationships they weren't <clears throat> excuse me they weren't like one night stands because i wasn't doing a lot of that or nothing but it was a lot of relationships where it was just um uh casual casual dating type shit anyone even that so it, it just depends it just depends what you accept when you're single. And at that point in time, I was okay being single. I didn't necessarily want company. But at the end of the day, I um, I knew I wanted love. I knew I wanted love and I deserved it. Because looking back on the relationships that I did find myself in, I didn't love none of them people. And I'm pretty sure none of them people really loved me. What I what I found it to be is trauma bonding. Some of it was trauma bonding. We both were trying to heal from other things and get ourselves right from other things and other people. Or we both just in a bad place. So we just toxic for each other and we just we just feeding off each other's bad energy. None of that is good. None of that is great. And and eventually a lot of that is going to kill you. It's going to lead you in a very unhappy place. So it's like love. 